So let's say uh, I have a perception of a colleague that they're, um, they're manipulative, they, they're, they manipulate, and they're not uh, uh, like genuine, and uh, I don't trust them. For instance, I don't know if any of you have somebody like that in your life, but what's, if that's my view, and that's what I expect, uh, so my, my reticular activating system, it's going to be searching for what? It's going to focus on the 7 plus or minus 2 that give me what? Right, so they're going to say something, and maybe it's, it seems a little incongruent what their body language and what their tone is and what their words are, and so then I'm going to go make meaning out of that. And the meaning is going to happen right here. So I'm going to go from here, and this, but this is on your, this is called rat brain. It's on page 10 at the top. But I'm going to make meaning. I'm then going to label and judge that person and confirm, oh, yeah, a person's not sincere. I then have a feeling about that, maybe a little anxiety, maybe a little frustration. I make a decision about how I'm going to act. I have an action or reaction, and then I hunt for evidence to see if my perception or conclusion is true. And, by, and then I select data, and we're off to the races. What are the odds I'm going to find the evidence I'm looking for to support my conclusion about that person? It's fantastic, isn't it? Because like I'm selecting the data, I'm defining the meaning, I'm the one labeling and judging. It's a closed system. <laughs> it's a closed system. I don't. I had this quote yesterday. That says, "Yeah, I don't." She goes, "I don't. Uh, I don't trust everything I say." You see, because I have an invested interest in being right. <laughs> I read that on a card somewhere by story people. It's like you know, I, I have an investment in being right. And each of us do. And so this sends this loop off, and it gets reinforced pretty quickly, pretty easily. Now, here's the problem, is that not only do we have that loop going, they have that loop going. And very often, the behaviors that I do in reaction, so I think this person I don't trust, uh, insincere, manipulative, so how might I likely respond to that? What might be some behaviors that I would uh, react with? with a person like that. How would you react to a person like that? Are you going to be really open and forthright and probably not, right? So I'm going to I'm going to listen differently. I may withhold information. I be pretty I may be strategic. I may avoid I may have I'll be sending all sorts of nonverbal unconscious signals through my nonverbal behavior that I don't even know about. My eye contact is going to be affected. The tone I use is going to be affected. That behavior is then perceived by the other person as, wow, that person doesn't like me. Or that person, so they make up their own conclusion, sort for evidence, and they're off to the races. And you now have, usually, a self-reinforcing loop. And the, uh, what's the next slide? So the question becomes, like, how do we break the cycle? And so it becomes. Once the loop gets reinforced enough, it becomes an is. What I mean by that is our perceptions usually start out, wow, I wonder if that person is. You know, wonder. And then it becomes my perception is. And then after a while, a few times around the loop, that's just the way that person is. They are blankety blank. 